Hi YouTube, it's Brianna. Um, so today I have a fun video for you guys. It's the 50 fun facts about me. Um, I'm sorry if you guys are a little wobbly, you're on top of a whole bunch of things, so bear with me here. So yeah, so I've got 50 fun facts for you guys that you may not know about me. And if you don't want to listen to all of them, if you skip towards the end, there's some super, super fun ones that you guys will be excited about. So let's get into it. So number one is when I was little, I dislocated my shoulder, elbow, and wrist all at the same time while playing uh, ball with my dog. He ran me over. Number two is I was part of Girl Guides for 15 years. Um, I did almost every single level there is of Girl Guides. Um, and these are in no particular order either, guys, so they might be a little all over the place. Number three, I've owned Basset Hounds all my life. Um, if you guys don't know what Basset Hounds are, they're like a bloodhound but with like six inch legs. So they're full dog long but half a dog high. Number four, I can bend my thumb all the way down to touch my arm. Pretty nifty stuff, which apparently not most people can do. Hi, lovey bug. Uh. Apparently Kyler's going to join us for a little bit here. Number five is I dislocated my sister's knee um, by sliding down a slide while she was still at the bottom of it, so I landed on top of her and dislocated it. Um, number six, I've sprained my ankles so many times playing soccer that I can now roll them completely over so that my outside ankle bone touches the ground. Number seven, both my pinky toes are hammer toes. I'm not going to show you guys because I know there's some weirdos out there who would like to see some feet. Um, but pretty much what it is is if this is your pinky toe, mine sits like that, which causes the entire bottom of my foot to be flat. So I'm flat footed and I have hammer toes. So like most people have five toe prints when they put their foot in water and they've got the nice little foot shape. Mine's like a perfect triangle and four toes. So it looks kind of like a monster foot. Number eight, um, I had a cardiac ablation done when I was 15 years old, so I've had heart surgery already. Number nine, I graduated from high school a year early. Are you agreeing for me? <laughs> uh, number ten, my legs do not tan. They are completely reflective white. I cannot, for the life of me, get them to tan. Um, number eleven, when I was bored, Growing up, um, I would rearrange my bedroom on a regular basis, um, at, at least monthly, if not uh, more often. Number 12, um, I'm kind of a little bit of a car nut, and I'm super big into like 1960s, 1970s muscle cars. Um, and so the first car that I ever owned... The first car I ever owned was a 1967 Chevy Nova SS, and I was going to try and restore it, but I didn't have the money, so I had to get rid of it. Number 13, um, by choice, I spent my 16th birthday at the California, California Motor Speedway watching a NASCAR race. Um, my dad and I have the same birthday, so it was a birthday present for both of us. So we're both huge into NASCAR, which we live in Canada, so it's not as big up here as it is down in the States. Um, Number 14, my high school friends and I were so cool that most weekends we would spend in my, we would spend it in my basement watching uh, Disney movies, so all the old classic Disney movies. Number 15, um, every year for my birthday while I was in high school, my parents were crazy and would take me and about 20 of my friends camping in the wilderness um, up into these cabins like way, uh, it's about 45 minute drive from where we live. Number 16. During high school, I had a huge, strange obsession with cows. I even painted my room in cow print, um, but that has now gone away, and I don't collect cows or anything else anymore. So. Number 17. Um, I was a band geek in high school, and um, I played a lot of instruments. I could play flute, tenor sax, oboe, piccolo, and a little bit of trumpet. Um, number 18. This is the one where I'm probably the odd man out, and I have never read nor watched any of the Harry Potter movies or books. So I have not seen any of them, and I have no intention of doing so, so people think I'm weird for that. Number 19, uh, in high school, 
my I had a full size queen size bed and it would hang from the ceiling and to put myself to sleep I would push on the ropes and have it swing back and forth so it was like a big rocking chair almost. Number 19, um, I have been airboating. Number 20, or sorry, that was number 20. Number 21, when I broke up with my ex-boyfriend, um, he had bought me a whole bunch of Apple Jacks because we couldn't get them here in Canada. And so when I broke up with him, I took the Apple Jacks and I shoved them down the heat register of his vehicle. And so uh, I didn't hear from him for a very long time. And then about... Um, a couple months later, because we broke up during the summer, a couple of months later I got a really nasty text message saying that it was snowing Apple Jacks in his car, so that was that was a fun little bit of uh, revenge on that relationship. Number 22, we owned a family cabin for most of my childhood, so we spent a lot of summer time up there. Um, and doing things like going fishing, catching frogs, playing horseshoes, all that sort of stuff. Number 23, I have seen three Cirque du Soleil shows. I have seen Saltambanco, um, La Nuba, and Kidam. Sorry guys for the sniffling, I have a cold right now, so. Um, number 24, I have never had a cavity. Um, uh, knock on wood, I don't have any, but yes, I have never had a cavity. Uh, however, number 25, I grind my teeth in my sleep, so I've actually ground down two of my teeth um, flat from grinding them in my sleep, so now I have to wear a guard. Number 26, another habit I do in my sleep is I bite my fingernails. I don't do it during the day, just at night. Um, the only time you'll ever see me do anything to them during the day is because I've bitten them so much, they're really super soft, so they catch and rip really easily, so I have to fix them for that. Number 27, I have my Bachelor of Education in, um, technical education, so um, teaching high school shop, automotive, woodwork, metalwork, drafting, electronics, all that fun stuff, I can do it. Uh, number 27, while I was getting my bachelor's degree, I wrote my final paper, which was kind of like our thesis, but not really, it was just our final project. Um, I wrote that while in the hospital after Kyla was born, so it, I literally graduated just in time before Ky um, with Kyler's arrival. Number 29, Brendan and I met working at a auto parts store and the first time we actually talked to each other he was playing with a box cutter and he was wielding it around and I was like whoa guys you need to stop and he cut open my finger so he sliced open my finger the very first time we ever met, drew blood so I guess it's a good first blood. Number 30, at my wedding my dad and I put together a dance uh, dance through the ages so we had songs like walk like an Egyptian um, jump on it those sort of things and the very last video or the very last song we did uh, was to Michael Jackson's thriller at which point my dad left uh, left the stage and all of my bridesmaids came out and all of us did the thriller dance together so that was super awesome however, not a single person at my wedding got it on film, so we don't have any record of it other than just our memory of it. Um, number 31. Ooh. Growing up, I swore I would never, ever, ever in my life drive a minivan. Now we own one, and it's my favorite vehicle. I don't know what I would ever do without a minivan, so um, it's definitely how you're... Uh, um, style and choices change. Number 32, I have lived in 12 houses in 23 years. However, uh, number 33, I have lived in the same town my entire life. So I've never left our city, but I have moved around in our city 12 times. Number 34, I have a so foster sister. Number 35, when I'm stressed, I clean. Number 36, when I was pregnant with Kyler, I craved McDonald's chicken nuggets all the time. And it was so bad because it was right during the Olympics, so they had the four chicken nuggets for a dollar. And I ate probably far too many chicken nuggets during that time. 37, when I'm getting ready for bed, I cannot let my feet go under the edge of my bed. They have to stay out from underneath it. I always have this weird fear that somebody like might grab my feet if my feet go under the bed. 
Um, number 38, uh, when I sleep in bed, I already automatically have my side of the bed, which is the right side of the bed, but I also have to, um, no matter which side of my, no matter where our bed is located, I always have to lay on my side that's closest to the door. So I can never have my back to the door. Um, I'm always afraid that if I have my back to the door, somebody could like sneak in and grab me. So like right now my bed is on this side and our door is on that side. So I sleep on my right side. However, if our door was over here, then I'd sleep on my left side so that I could be facing the door. Number 39, my food has to have a certain texture. So for an example, uh, spaghetti. Spaghetti is a fairly all soft food and everything else. If people put onions in it and they don't saute them properly so they're still slightly crunchy, if I bite into the spaghetti and then I feel the crunchiness of the onion, it makes me gag. So I have to, my brain automatically associates foods with a certain texture and if it doesn't have that type of texture, I gag. Number 40. Um, I have to eat my food in a certain order. So usually I always eat my vegetables first, then um, depending on the meal, if I like the meat better, I save the meat for last so that I eat vegetables, carbs, meat. Or if the carbs are my favorite, then I'll eat the vegetables, meat, carbs. But I always have to do them in a certain order and I can't mix them around. Number 41, I love to go camping. We've gone camping already once this year, and we're going again one more time this year. The boys being a little young, it's a little bit stressful right now, but I've spent most of my life camping, so I absolutely love it. Number 42, Kyler, Deegan, and I all have two middle names. Um, for me, it was it just sounds better with two instead of just one. It sounds too short with one. Number 43, I do not like pineapple. I think they are so gross. I cannot stand them, and people think I'm crazy for that. Number 44, um, I, hate pe I hate when people use the word seen instead of saw. So when you're talking to somebody and you say, um, there, was a, there was a really cool, there was a really cool sign driving down the road, and somebody goes, oh yeah, I've seen that. Or, I seen that, not I've, because that would be inappropriate, but I seen that when they meant I saw that. Uh, that is a huge pet peeve of mine. Okay, so number 45, I am allergic to cats, but we own one. Um, he spends most of his time outside and he kind of sort of adopted us. We didn't adopt him. So we have a cat even though I'm allergic to them. Number 46, um, all the DVDs in my collection are have to be sorted a certain way. So they're sorted by somewhat of their genre. So like I have a section of Disney movies, a section of um, like action movies, a section for um, cartoon movies but aren't Disney movies. So I separate them that way and then within those sections then they all have to be alphabet in alphabetical order. So that's the one little part of OCD habit I have is with my DVDs and them having to be a certain way. Number 47, we make our own laundry soap. It smells delicious and it cleans so great that it's so much cheaper and everything else that that's why we do it. Number 48, I keep almost all greeting cards. So anytime anybody sends us one, I have one still from our wedding, anniversaries, birthdays, the boys' birthdays, I keep them all and I have a basket in my living room and they're all in there. Um, number 49, you guys may not know, however, there are some pictures around above me somewhere. Um, we had some family photos recently done, which I will insert some of them now. And lastly, number 50. If you guys can get time to do the math, yes, that's right, we're expecting baby number 
three. Baby number three is expected to be here somewhere around February 8th of next year and we are so excited. Um, the picture you saw in the last one is how we told Brendan's family that we were pregnant. Um, so we thought it'd be a fun way to show you guys as well. So that's it you guys. That's all our questions or all my 50 random facts for you. Um, that being said, I will be doing pregnancy updates. Um, I'm hoping to do them sort of to go along with our midwife appointments. So I won't do them every single week just because this is my third pregnancy, but I'll do them with our midwife appointments so that there's at least some information to catch you up on. And that's it guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.